Kitchen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. On behalf of my school, I am very grateful to all people of Madrasa Arianagri for conducting this speech competition. Hopefully, this speech competition can be one of ways to make Madrasa Arianagri in Jambang better and readier for globalization. Ladies and gentlemen, juries and contestants, in this speech competition, proudly I state that Madrasa is the right answer for globalization. I repeat my statement, Madrasa is the right answer for globalization. Ladies and gentlemen, can you repeat my statement? Come on, one, two, three. Madrasa is the right answer for globalization. Thank you. Firstly, I'd like to invite you to think about what globalization is. What advantages and disadvantages are resulted from globalization? And then, I'd like to invite you to think about what madrasa and sekola are etymologically and historically. The last is how madrasa answers the globalization. Ladies and gentlemen, anybody knows what globalization is? Anybody knows? Alright. Malcolm Waters defined that globalization is a social process resulting in the geographical restriction on the socio-cultural situation becomes less important than is manifested in the consciousness of people. Emmanuel Richer defined that globalization is a global network that simultaneously brings together previously dispersed communities and isolated into the interdependence and unity of the world. Martina Brown defined that globalization is about the whole process by which the world's population are connected into a single world community and many other definitions. Based on definitions, we can define that globalization is a process between individuals and groups to produce an effect on the world. The definitions of globalization can also be the relationship or dependence between people and between nations more broadly around the world. It can be through trade, investment, travel, cultures, as well as another form of interaction so that the boundaries of a country become narrow. Ladies and gentlemen, globalization has given us many advantages. Some of them are, number one, globalization gives us facilities for obtaining information related to science, social, or other information. Number two, communication is getting easier and faster. And number three, globalization leads to the development of science and technology rapidly. But ladies and gentlemen, on the other hand, globalization has also given us many disadvantages. Some of them are, number one, we cannot control the information that comes to us. Number two, the easy and quick exchange of information through a variety of media often makes us forget our own cultures because we assume that the new cultures are better than our own cultures and eventually we will lose our own national identity. And number three, with the development of technology, from time to time we will be more pampered with fully furnished facilities which make us more individualistic. Similarly, the positive effects of globalization that provide us many benefits, globalization also has negative sides that give us a lot of bad effects. Ladies and gentlemen, based on definitions, advantages and disadvantages resulted from globalization, let us see what madrasa and sekolah are etymologically and historically. The last is how madrasa answers the globalization. Etymologically, madrasa was derived from Arabic word darosa, which means to learn. What I want to emphasize is where the words came from, era. And era is a country where Islam comes from. Meanwhile, sekola was derived from English word school and German word schooling. What I want to emphasize is where the words came from, ladies and gentlemen. English and Germany, and they are Western countries. Historically, the purpose of establishing Madrasa when first time adopted in Indonesia was to transmit the values of Islam. In addition, to meet the needs of modernization of education as an answer or response in the face of colonialism and Christianity, as well as to prevent the dissipation of the religious spirits of the community as a result of the spread of Dutch educational institution at the time. 
Sakala, for the first time introduced by the Dutch government, was in the 1870s in a preparing prospective employees of the colonial government, with a view to preserving colonialism. An educational institution established by the Dutch colonial, religious subjects were not given at all. Ladies and gentlemen, finally, how madrasa becomes the answer for globalization. Just like schools, madrasa also provides the students with science and technology. But madrasa not only teaches science and technology, but also integrates them with religion, Islam. Madrasa education is able to combine the academic ability and provisionalism with spiritual values so that we can be a war and strong person. But ladies and gentlemen, why must it be religion? Anybody know why? Alright, globalization that touches all aspects of human life is something that cannot be fighted. However, the negative aspects of globalization can be neutralized with religious values, Islamic values. With that, we can conclude that madrasa is the right answer for globalization. Ladies and gentlemen, before I end my speech, let me ask you questions. Do you agree that madrasa is the right answer for globalization? Agreed. Do you agree, ladies and gentlemen? Yes. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.